this video, guys, I will show the quickest way to optimize your windows. After watching this tutorial, you'll see improvements in your FPS, reduced input delay, and potentially lower ping. If you find this helpful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. So let's dive into this video. Your C drive plays a crucial role in your system's overall performance. When it becomes cluttered, it can cause your computer to lag or become unresponsive. To clean it up, open File Explorer, right-click on your C drive, and select Properties. Under the General tab, click on Disk Cleanup, then choose Cleanup System Files for a more thorough scan. Select unwanted files, such as old Windows updates, confirm your selections, and delete them. Additionally, remember to regularly empty your recycle bin, as it continues to occupy space on the C drive until the files are permanently removed. Defragmenting your hard drive can enhance your system's speed by organizing data more efficiently. To do this, search for Defragment and Optimize Drives in the taskbar. Select each of your drives individually and click Optimize. However, if you're using an SSD, Solid State Drive, skip this step as it can cause unnecessary wear and doesn't benefit from defragmentation like traditional hard drives. Now, let's optimize your Windows power plan to boost CPU performance. Start by clicking on the Windows search icon and typing Power. From the search results, select Choose a Power Plan. In the window that opens, choose the High Performance Power Plan. Then click on Change Plan Settings to open another window and from there click on Change Advanced Power Settings. In the Advanced Power Settings pop-up, navigate to the High Performance section and scroll down to the Hard Disk section. Click on it and set the settings to zero to prevent the hard disk from entering power saving mode. Continue scrolling to the Processor Power Management section, which is crucial for maximizing CPU performance. Click to expand this section and set both to 100. This guarantees that your CPU runs at full performance. Finally, click Apply, then OK and close the window. These adjustments will help ensure your CPU is operating at its maximum potential, boosting overall system performance. Next, optimize the paging file, which serves as virtual memory. To begin, search for Advanced System Settings and select it. In the Performance section, click on Settings Bugbus. Under the Advanced tab, click Change in the Virtual Memory section and ensure the box labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives is checked. Afterward, click OK and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. This adjustment helps improve system performance by allowing more efficient memory management. Uninstalling unwanted apps and programs is an effective way to improve system performance. Start by opening the Start menu, clicking on the Settings gear icon and navigating to Apps, Apps and Features. Go through the list of installed apps and remove any you no longer need by selecting the app and clicking Uninstall. Be cautious not to uninstall drivers or essential system software, as they are necessary for the proper functioning of your system. This process will help free up valuable system resources and disk space. You can also enable Storage Sense, a useful built-in feature in Windows that automatically clears up space by deleting unnecessary files. To activate it, go to Settings, System, Storage, and toggle Storage Sense to On. You can set it to run at specific intervals or trigger it to clean up files when your disk space is low. This ensures that junk files are consistently removed, helping improve system performance without the need for manual effort. Adjusting visual effects can significantly improve performance, particularly on systems with limited hardware. Start by searching for Advanced System Settings and navigate to the Performance section. In the Visual Effects tab, select Adjust for Best Performance to disable all visual effects, and customize by enabling Show Thumbnails instead of Icons and Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts. Disabling these visual elements frees up valuable resources, resulting in improved overall system performance. Now guys, download this Windows optimization pack on your PC. You can download this pack from my official website. After downloading, go to this network optimization folder and run this DNS jumper application here. Click on fastest DNS and then click on start DNS test. Then click on apply DNS server. After that, go into Windows registry optimization folder and install all these registries on your PC. Now go to Ultimate Windows Tweaker folder and run this one of the best application for Windows. Once it's open, go to the Performance tab and under the Performance section, I recommend following all of my suggested settings. This includes disabling auto starting programs and unresponsive applications, enabling restart shot automatic after some error, and turning off features like smooth scrolling and edge preloading. 
These adjustments will help minimize unnecessary visual effects that consume additional CPU and RAM resources. Additionally, make sure to disable certain Windows 10 services, such as the Tablet Input Service, Windows Security Center Service, and Prefetch Service. Disabling the Prefetch Service is particularly important, as it manages temporary data that can slow your system down. Turning it off will help enhance performance. Next, navigate to the Additional section and select Network Tweaks. Here you should again apply all of my recommended settings. These include enabling the Network Adapter Onboard Processor, limiting access to anonymous connections, and disabling network features like Recent Shares and the default Admin Disk Driver Share Server. Also make sure your network is hidden from Network Discovery and the Browser List. Once you've applied these network tweaks, click Apply Tweaks to optimize your network settings. Finally, click Close. The program will recommend restarting your PC to ensure the changes take full effect. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now open the Start menu and go into Settings. Once you're inside Settings, go to the Gaming section and make sure the Xbox Game Bar is turned off. If you use the Game Bar for recording gameplay, it can make your game run terribly because it keeps running in the background. Instead of the Game Bar, you can try other options like NVIDIA Shadowplay. After that, go to Game Mode and make sure it's turned on. Game Mode has gotten a lot better with every new Windows update and I'm pretty happy with how it works now, so you should be too. While you're still here, click on Graphics Settings under Related Settings. If you see the option for Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, make sure to turn it on. For the Choose an App to Set Preferences option, start by selecting Desktop App and then click on Browse. From there, you need to find the executable file for the specific game you want to optimize and add it to these settings. To do this, go to the location where you have installed your games. For example, if you're adding Fortnite, navigate to its installation folder, then go into Fortnite Game, then Binaries, and then Win64. Scroll through this folder until you find the .exe file for Fortnite. The process is the same for other games like Valorant or Counter-Strike. They will also have a .exe file you need to locate. Once you find the file for your game, select it and click Add. After adding it, click on Options, choose the High Performance setting, and then hit Save. That's it! Your settings are now optimized for that game. You can close out of the settings window and move on. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Peace out.